till now we have seen how to create this form now we are going to see how to apply stylings for this using basic css stylings we are going to apply the stylings for this and we will be making the form like this okay and also before that let me just show you i have just created one images folder inside my registration folder and inside that i am having this image okay now this image i'm just going to use as a background and this image i will be providing you along with the source code i'll just come here now we have already created this form here we have linked our css link now i'll just come to style.css and for this style.css i have just given a different spelling let me just change that one instead of this i'll be writing here style.css now inside this first let me just write here body only to check whether it is connected properly or not i'll just give the background color aqua i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the background color is been applied which means that i am successfully linked to style sheet now inside this we are just going to create css variables css variables are very important because if you are using the same color multiple times if you want to change that color each and every time you don't have to change that one you can create separate variable for that and only once if you change that one it is going to reflect everywhere for that we just have to write here colon here i'm just going to write here root inside this double hyphen and here first i'll be writing primary inside this i'm just going to pass one value whatever i have used in my project i'm just going to write here d8 4e 0f okay this is going to give me dark orange color and below this i'll be writing here hyphen white for white color i'm just going to create then i'm just going to create for black color okay black mostly i'm not using so i'm not going to create variable for black okay this is how we are going to create css variable let me just write the comment here css variables you just have to write here colon root then double hyphen whatever variable name you want you can give and whatever value we want we can give here why i am using here variables because you can see here i am using this orange color orange color orange colors multiple times i am using this one now suppose in future maybe i just want to change this to purple color wherever i am having this one i don't have to change if i change only here then it is going to reflect everywhere then below this i'll be writing here html and also i'm just going to write here body now inside this first i'm just going to add one background image i'll just write this background image whenever we are using this background image we just have to write here url now inside this url i just have to pass the image path now this style sheet is present inside the css folder to come outside of this folder i just have to write here double slash now here i'm having all these folders inside root i'm having css folder i'm having images folder and i'm having index.php file i have to come inside images folder inside that i'm having this image i'll save this i'll come to my project now if i refresh this one you can see the background image is been applied now i want this kind of image so for that we are just going to do some stylings now below that i'll be writing here background repeat to be no repeat because in my smaller screen devices it is going to repeat i don't need this one so i'm just going to write here background repeat to be no repeat i'll refresh this one by default each and every image will repeat so to avoid that one i'm just writing this property okay for larger images if you don't want to give then also it will work completely fine and for body i'll just write here height height let me just write here 100% i am just telling that it should take complete 100% of this screen okay now my body will be 100% now below this we are just going to style our container now here i am having this container class i'll just copy this one i'll just paste that one now for this i'll just give the height as 100% because i just want to bring the card in the middle so i have to give the height for container if i don't give the height then that card will not come in the middle now once i give this height okay before that let me just show you now inside bootstrap we are having some properties here i'm just going to apply that one i just want to bring the card in the middle so here i'll be writing display to be flex d hyphen flex once we give this display flex we can use two more properties that is align items to be center align items to be center and also we can use this justify content justify content to be center i'll save this i'll just give the proper spelling 
align item center justify content center now if i refresh this one you can see here i am having this card as soon as i gave this display flex align item center and justify content center here i am having this kind of form but this form i want in the middle so for that we have to give this 100% of the height i'll save this now before giving height if i just give the background color for this i'll just give background color same thing i'm just going to give now if i just refresh this one you can see this is my container how much content i am having here only that height it is having so to increase that one i'll just give here height to be 100 percentage now as soon as i refresh this you can see my card has come in the middle okay this is how we are going to work with containers if you don't want to give container then you can give container fluid as well okay that is the bootstrap class and it will take complete 100 percent of the width now if i refresh this one here i am having this card and my card is in the middle now here if you see here my card width is larger when compared to this one my card width is larger here now we are just going to style the card i'll come to index.php i'll just copy this card class and below this i'm just going to paste that one now for this card first let me just give the width width i'll be giving 400 pixel i'll save this now if i refresh this one it is going to take 400 pixel of the width Okay, if you want to give height, you can give or else you can just ignore that one. But as of now, I am just going to give the height as 350 pixel. I will refresh this one. Now, it is going to take 350 pixel of height. Okay, if I just increase the size, you can see this is the footer. This is the card footer and this is the card header. Then for this, we just have to give one background color. Let me just give that one background color. And if you notice here, this background color is transparent. From this, I can see the background image as well. So for that, I'm just going to decrease the opacity. And here I'll be writing RGBA value. Okay, R stands for red, G stands for green, B stands for blue, and A stands for alpha. Using this alpha value, we can decrease the opacity. And this value ranges from 0 to 1. And in between, we can take any values like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever values we want, we can take. For black color, I am just going to pass here 0, 0, 0 and for opacity, I will just write here 0.4. I will save this. I will come here. Now, if I refresh this one, you can see the opacity has been applied. Using this opacity, I can see the background image as well. Now, for this and this, we are going to change the colors. Once we change the colors, and it will be looking exactly like this. Now, first, I am just going to change this H3. So, I will just copy this card header class. And here I will be pasting that one. Inside this I just want to style H3. So I will be writing this. Okay, this is this is going to represent the child. Now for this I am just going to give the color. Now for white color I have already created this CSS variable. Now to pass that one we just have to write here var. And inside this I am just going to write here white color. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the color is changed. And here I am having this output. Now next we just have to style this pan tag wherever we are having this icon for that we have to give one background color. Now our icons are present okay inside this diff container we are having this pan and below that we are having this input field. I will just copy this input group okay the parent class and here I am just going to paste that one. Now inside that I am just going to target the span. I will just write here span. Now for this first I am just going to give the background color background color using this variable I will just write here primary. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the background color is been applied. But if you notice here I am having some border for this. I do not need this border so I am just going to remove that border. You can see for span I am having this border. I do not want that so I will be writing here border to be 0. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now all the borders have gone. Okay, if you want to pass this border property inside bootstrap, then also you can do. It completely depends on your requirement, how you want to display the data. And also, I just want to change the color of the icon. So, here I will be writing color and inside this, I am just going to write here white. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now, all the icon color is been changed. Okay, for this sign up and for this icons, I have used the same color that is nothing but white. Now, in future, I just want to change this color to light pink. Now, instead of changing here and here, instead of changing it two times, directly I can come here, I can just write here pink. 
Now wherever I have used this variable everywhere that color will be applied. I will refresh this one you can see light pink color is been applied. Okay, This is how variables are very useful whenever you are using the same color multiple times then you can create CSS variables. If you change in CSS variables then it will be reflected everywhere. Now we are done with this pan. Now here if you notice here whenever I click on this input field I am not having any border any outline I do not have anything. But here when I click on this you can see I am having some outline. I do not want that one. Now to remove that one I will just write here input field and whenever I focus on the input field only then I have to remove all those things. Now here first I will just give the outline. Outline I do not need I am just going to give this outline. I want to remove outline from all the four sides. So here I am just going to give 0, 0, 0 and 0. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now again whenever I click I am getting this outline. This is not gone because whatever property I am having inside bootstrap it is taking the more priority. Now to give this more priority we just have to write here important. I will refresh this one. Now again whenever I click you can see again I am getting this one. Okay, This is not the outline. This is basically the box shadow. So that also I have to remove. I am just going to copy the same thing and here I will be writing box shadow. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now whenever I focus you can see I am not having box shadow and also I am not having any outline. Okay, This is how we are going to style. Next I am having this sign up button. For sign up button I will just come to index.php. Here we have just created this sign up button. Now for this button I will just add the class and here I am just going to write here sign up. Okay, Whatever class name you want you can give. I will just copy this class. Okay, This is not the bootstrap class. This is the custom class I have created. I will just copy this class and here I am just going to paste that class. Now for this class I will just give the color. I will just write this variable white. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the color has been changed to white. Now I have to give the background color. So I am just going to write background color. For this also I am just going to write this primary. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the color has been applied. Now for this button if you notice here I am having this border. Here I am having this margin. It is not looking good at all. So for that inside index.php here I will just write here btn. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see here I am having this bootstrap button. If you just write this btn whatever stylings we are having for the buttons inside bootstrap that will be applied. Whenever I hover on this button the background color is white and this text color is black. So for that I will just copy this entire thing. Here I will be pasting that whenever I hover on this button. I am just changing the color to black. I will just write here black. Then background color I am just changing it to white. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now whenever I hover I am getting this changes. Now we are going to style this footer. I will just come here. Now inside this footer we are having this cart footer. Let me just copy this one. Okay, One more thing we can do. Okay, instead of passing the color we can use the bootstrap class that is text light. Okay, That also I will be showing you how to use. I will just write here text light. I will save this. Now if I just refresh this one. You, now you can see here the color has been changed to white. You can directly pass this bootstrap class or you can use the stylings inside style.css. Now for this sign in I am just going to wrap inside anchor tag. I will just remove this one. I will be writing anchor tag. Inside href I will just write here sign in.php. Whenever I click on this button I should be redirected to sign in.php. And inside this I am just going to write here sign in. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see now this is the link. Now whenever I click on this I should be redirected to sign in.php. As of now I have not created that file. So whenever I click on this it is going to move to sign in.php but this page is not found because I have not created that one. Okay, Later on when we are designing this one we are going to create this file. Now for this we just have to change the color. I will come here. Now for this div container I am just going to add one custom class that is sign up. I will save this. I will just copy this class. Okay, Here also we are having this sign up class and here also we are having this sign up class. For better understanding for button I am just going to add btn. I will just copy the class. 
and inside style.css I am just going to paste that one here. Okay, so that we don't get confused with this anchor tag and button. Now again if I refresh this again I am having the same output. Now for this diff container I have just added this sign up class. I will just copy this one and below this I am just going to paste. Now for this I am just going to give the color. Color I will be giving this primary color. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Okay, Now this is not been applied because here I have just passed this class. Now inside this anchor tag we are having this sign in. So here I am just going to write here anchor tag. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the color is been applied. Okay, This is how we are going to create. Let me just give the space here. I will just give one space and here I am just going to give capital I. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one here I am having this proper output. Okay, If you want to do any changes you can do based on your requirement whatever you want to do. And here also I am just going to give capital U. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now, rest, now everything is same. You can see everything is same. We do not have any changes to do. We are done with this sign up form. Next we are going to create sign in form. Then we are going to connect to the database and later on we are going to register a user. Once we are ready with this template only then we can perform all those actions. So first we are going to create these forms then we will be performing the actions with databases and tables.